It's time for Monday Evening Driver. Getting set to go here. Coming in Victor Lane right now. Jeremiah and Fish on the highway. You heard it there. It's Monday evening driver time. We break down all things NASCAR every Monday evening at this time. Jeremiah Farmer bringing you the New River Building Supply afternoon show from inside the Discovery Chevrolet Buick GMC studio. And we bring in host of the Hour Request Short Order Lunch to talk NASCAR with us, Mr. Brian Fisher. That's right. Happy Monday, Jay. Hey, congratulations to both of us. We both picked Jimmy, the winner. Fear the beard. Yeah. (laughs) He's going to look like Willie Robertson for too long. (laughs) He is, yeah. But, man, we talked about it, that he is the Texas king, Mr. Mile and a Half. He gets his seventh win at Texas Motor Speedway. It don't matter if they repave it, dirt track it, he can win there. Yeah, I mean, he, he owns that joint, and, you know, we both come to the conclusion it was about time that he showed up in victory lane after a, a, a slow start to the season. Uh, but, man, he was there. And he, he overcome a lot of adversity yesterday and a couple of fast race cars. Ryan Blaney, fast all day. I think he would have been the one to beat right there at the end if it wasn't for the trouble that he had on pit road. Ain't it amazing how cars react so differently when they're back in the pack and in that dirty air? We saw Ryan Blaney, who was out front, won the first two stages. Seemed like nobody could touch him. Yeah. He gets back in the pack, and the car just goes away. It does, and I think that is a, is opposed to the clean air, dirty air, and the track changing. We saw the track change a lot yesterday. Those new grooves in one and two uh, that Texas, uh, with their uh, new look, the repave that they had in one and two. Uh, early in the race, man, it was a little icy. Uh, you saw a lot of cars uh, getting outside. They couldn't form an out, outside groove, but once they did, things kind of started to, to take shape, and the track changed. Uh, and that helped out a lot of drivers. I think that contributed to one of Dale Jr.'s best finishes on the season to a fifth place finish. Uh, you saw him passing cars up on the outside. Uh, so I, it was it was an interesting race yesterday for sure. We saw the resurgence of Hendrick. And how about this fish? Ganassi continues to impress. Yeah, Kyle man. Larson, another second place finish. McMurray finished seventh, running a top five a lot of the day. Those guys are in it to win it. It seems like they this are, year. man. I, I think that's a. <laughs> I think Kyle Larson is the Kevin Harvick of years past, where uh, mm-hmm. Harvick just had second place, second place, second place. Uh, but man, it's great to see the, that two car team up there running up front, and you know that it's it's getting ready to break wide open for both of those drivers. Uh, and it's been a long time coming. They're both very talented. I think uh, those teams have really put in the hard work and, and the research, the dedication. Well, listen to this. I want to get your. Uh, we we got no race next week. It's the off week for Easter. I uh, want to get your perspective on how the stage racing is going too far. It's interesting to see the breakdown from yesterday. So Jimmy wins, he gets 49 points. Larson finished second, he gets 47. Logano finishes third, gets 36. Harvick, who finished fourth, gets 44. Um, we saw uh, Ryan Blaney, who finished 12th, got the fourth most points out of anybody over the entire day because of his success during the early stage races. Yeah. He got 45 points. Yeah. So it really does put a premium on doing good throughout the whole race. It does, man. And, I mean, you, we've seen that throughout the, the last few weeks, you know, when it comes down to the end of these stages. I mean, you've got drivers not only battling for the lead, they're battling for 10th place. And I was a guy who was really skeptical of it at the beginning of the year, but so far from what I've seen, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, To me, it hasn't hasn't interrupted the flow of a race like I thought it would. Um, It's helped the competition throughout the race. And, uh, you know, going to a race a couple weeks ago, it really did help me say, okay, I'm about to go get a hot dog. You know, we got the end of the stage coming <laughs> yeah. up. So uh, I- I'm pleasantly surprised so far. I am too. It's made it interesting. It's really shook things up. I mean, listen to your current top five right now uh, in your point standings. Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., Brad Keselowski, and Joey Logano. Wow. I mean, those are some big names, but you don't have your Kevin Harvick's up there. You don't have your Kyle Busch's up there, your Jimmy Johnson's. I mean, I mean, it's really opened up the competitiveness of, of this sport. But well, last question I'll ask you today, since there's no race this upcoming week. I know at the beginning of the year we, we kind of you know said who are – we didn't really make championship picks, but who are some guys to look for uh, to win the title? I believe I had mentioned Logano or something, and I know you were uh, high on Martin Truex. Yeah. Uh, this far into the season, now that we've got these races under our belt, who's the guy that you're looking for that – if, if you could pick today who you think would win it, who is it? If I could pick, I'd probably 
man, I'd probably stick with Martin Truex Jr. just because he looked so good last year going toward the championship hunt and had some really bad luck in the yeah, chase. Yeah. That's something that drivers learn from. I wouldn't doubt it. If the chase started today for me, I would probably pick Keselowski to win yeah. just because of how consistent he's been and dominant at different types of tracks. But I'm telling you, don't count out that 48. It seems like the minute <laughs> you start to doubt him, the minute they start running features on how bad he's doing and start uh, stressing in pre-race about how bad he's doing. He facial down, hair man. gets really long. Yeah. So uh, that team, they seem to know how to turn it on at the right times. They do. And now he's in the chase once again, and anything can happen once you get in. Yeah, we're excited, man. Yeah, it's going to be a great rest of the NASCAR season. You'll hear fish tomorrow from 11 to 2. That's right. I got a pair of tickets to the second annual Bikes, Brews, and Barbecue Festival. So join me starting at 11 a.m. And we're back to the New River Building Supply Afternoon Show now.